I started teaching in the K-12 model um, in 1998. When I was in graduate school, I had the opportunity of being a teaching assistant, and that's where I started gaining some interest in what it was like to help teach uh, students. My background is actually in chemistry, so I was a teaching assistant at the University of Louisville while I was doing my graduate work. And I really found it rewarding and fun to be able to help students understand that chemistry didn't have to be something that was way out in left field or hard for them to learn. We're going to be really starting a school from the ground up. And what that means is not just opening a building and on opening day and having classes with teachers. It means starting a new culture because the new tech culture is something that's different than what we see in the traditional environment. My favorite process thus far has been really getting to learn more about the new tech model and seeing how it's working with other students and how educators around the state and the country, having been to some conferences, have really taken hold of it and how it really has changed their perspective and their role in teaching and learning and how it's really helped students really gain better understanding of what they are trying to learn and how it's just helped students open up and really blossom. Well, I think the coolest thing about a new tech school or specifically the Renaissance Academy is the opportunity that it's going to provide for all learners, all learners who want to come and, and be part of, of our school. When you start thinking about a project-based learning model or a problem-based learning model, it's really so different than a traditional model. When you have students that are kind of leading the process of their own learning and the teachers who are facilitators, they are facilitating and guiding that learning. They're not just standing up in front of the students and imparting their content knowledge and the students are going to turn around and, and just replicate that on a test or a quiz, but they're actually going to be engaged in research and engaged in the learning process. And for me, I think that's the neatest thing about it. In my spare time, there are lots of things. I have a family, I have two children and a wife, and we like to do many things. Many people would not probably realize that we go camping, and we like to camp. Um, I don't do the tent camping thing and all that business, but we have a camper and we, we like to do that. It's nice to see um, the state park system in our own state and in other states, that, that we have some nice things set up for that.